Today we're talking about the Waves Clarity VXD Reverb plugin, and if you want to know what it's all about, what it does, what it sounds like, then stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So if you are looking to improve upon any of those skills, get the latest product reviews and even learn about music business, then make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about the Waves Clarity VX D Reverb plugin. So what is this thing? Well, basically it takes your audio, singing or dialogue, and it reduces the reverb that is attached to it. So for example, if I was talking far away from this microphone here, I'm gonna have a lot of reverb introduced into the sound. And this plugin's job is to take care of that. So who is this plugin for? Well, I would say first off, it is for content creators because we're the ones out there that are you know, using microphones like this, or we're kind of out in the field even with like lavalier microphones, and we're not real close to the microphone. So this is going to help reduce the reverb that is you know, picked up as we're recording in these less than perfect situations. Now, second, this is for singers, okay? So in the studio, and I would say project studios or home studios, sometimes we don't always have the best acoustics and this plugin will help, again, reduce the reverb that bad acoustics introduces into the sound, okay? So with all that being said, if you do end up liking this plugin, I do have a link in the description below where you can go purchase it. So first off in this video, I'm actually going to take you through the user interface so you know how to use this plugin properly. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools and I have the Waves Clarity VX D Reverb plugin open. So as mentioned, first, I want to go over the user interface with you. And as you can see, there's not very many parameters in it, but still I want to make sure you know how to use it right. So starting in the top left here, our first button here is the reset button for the neural network. So the neural network is what runs this whole entire plugin. So what it does is, is it analyzes the audio as you're playing it and makes adjustments. So this button here is not all that useful unless you're actually playing audio. And the reason I say that is because every time you stop playing audio, the neural network resets itself, okay? So just keep that in mind. So beneath that, we have our different algorithm options. So let me open that up here. You'll see that for dialogue and speech, we have dialogue one, two, and then dialogue three plus noise reduction, okay? Now, it's not very specific on what these do. They say it's best to just try them all out and pick the one that works best for your application. Now for singing vocals, we have singing one, and then we have singing two plus noise reduction, okay? And then beneath that, we have a presence option, and that's because this is reducing reverb. And if you don't know what reverb is, reverb is actually made up of mostly upper mids and highs, okay? So when you're taking the reverb out of your voice, your voice is gonna sound more dampened, and this is gonna allow you to add some more presence back to it. Now next to that, we have our giant de-reverb button, and this simply, you just increase upward to decrease the reverb. And then next to that, we have a graph here that shows you your input signal and then also the reduction happening. Now, those are all the main controls in the plugin. Some other things that you can look at are the different presets up here. There's quite a bit in here. And then also our little hamburger icon gives you access to the user manual right here. And you can also increase the GUI size. I have this at 200% because this plugin is small by default. All right. so. With that being said, let's actually get to the listening portion of this video and hear what this thing could do. All right, so for our little listening slash testing demo, I am using a Shure SM7B dynamic microphone and I'm probably about four feet away from it. Now I also have the dryer going on in the background because for whatever reason, it is right outside the studio door. And then what I'm reading is, I'm reading the Waves Clarity VX D Reverb Pro press release, okay? Now, over here, these are the settings that I chose for this vocal. I chose Dialog 1. I chose a presence of 69% because I wanted to add a little bit more high-end back to the vocals. And then I'm doing the D Reverb at 60, 
I guess 60%, however you wanna look at that, it's at 60.5, and that's it. So with that being said, let's give it a listen. Clarity VX D-Reverb Pro is a neural network powered D-Reverberation plugin able to reduce and remove reverb from both dialogue and sung vocals. With the same intuitive operation of the first Clarity, D-Reverb Pro works instantly with the one big knob, but also allows precise and flexible control over the processing across the frequency spectrum. Six continuous bands give you the ability to smoothly shape and contour the reverb depending on the source material and production. All right, so there you have it. That is my review on the Waves Clarity VX D-Reverb plugin. So there's also a pro version out, but honestly, this plugin is gonna get you where you need to be probably 90% of the time. Um, its counterpart, the Waves Clarity VX, which is the noise reduction version, I pretty much use just the basic version as opposed to the pro, and I have both. So just something to think about. And again, if you do like this plugin, you like what you heard, I have a link in the description below where you can go purchase it. And also, if you did end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And if you did enjoy this content, check out my review slash tutorial on the Waves Clarity BX noise reduction plugin. And with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.